Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to take a look at a very obscure <laughs> command in Inventor Sheet Metal Modeling that can be extremely useful when working on large shapes. So this came up in a class recently, and it was a twist on a command that we use all the time, but it does allow us to create sort of what's called a jog. And for those of you who are familiar with SolidWorks, this looks, will look pretty familiar. But often when we have really large shapes, like this box, we don't want to make it out of a single sheet because it's not practical. So we'll make it out of a couple of sheets, but we want to maybe rivet or screw it together so one of the members will have this little jog shape, like so. And <clears throat> we want to be able to model that quickly and easily. So we could of course sketch it and do the contour flange, but I want to show you a method that allows us to do that pretty quickly. So I'm going to go back here and believe it or not, you can actually create this with the flange tool. So I'm going to hide these two flanges. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the flange command. So this is where it gets really interesting because normally we would flange the top edge 90 degrees like so. But in this case, we're going to click on the old method. We're going to pick the edge and we're going to set the angle to zero. Now what this does is this actually creates this jog-like feature right from that edge. And of course, if you pick a different edge, there's no flipping here. But if I was to simply pick the bottom edge, then it would create that jog on either surface. And then what happens is it works backwards to create the bend. And then this distance is whatever you want the overlap to be. So if I want it to be a half of an inch, I can click on 0.5 and there's a half inch. If I want that to be three quarters of an inch, you get the idea. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And then I'll do the same thing at this bottom edge, like so. And that is how you create those flanges. So I did discover this on the forum. So I uh, just wanted to give a video though, because I didn't find any video information on it. So it's, it's been around a while. It does flatten, but it is a pretty cool way to create these types of features. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.